Hey, everybody. Hello. <laughs> That's live. I'm John Hope Bryant, founder, chairman, and CEO of Operation Hope, America's first nonprofit social investment banking network. We're going to think about that. Mm -hmm. For the poor, the underserved, the, those who basically, those folks with too much month at the end of their money is what I'm talking about. We're the largest nonprofit financial services network for the poor in the world. I see you guys starting to sign on. I'm also author of a few books. Banking on the Future, Love Leadership, How the Poor Can Save Capitalism. New book, The Memo, coming out. Now, this is The Memo Walking. This lady here is a bad sister. Let her introduce herself. Yeah, she's a bad sister. And no, she's not 13. I know she's fine and she's smart. But she's, uh, she's been working, well, she's been living in, was it, Dallas, Dallas. for how many years? Uh, 43. So somebody tried to call. I told her to call back. So you're living in Dallas for 43 years, uh, and uh, no, you can't guess her age because she's timeless because black don't crack. Um, <laughs> but, but I have her on video today for a very important purpose. Um, she's the highest ranking African American at Mutual of Omaha Bank. And we're here in Omaha. If you don't think we're in here in Omaha, just look at the snow, okay? Just look at the snow. I'm gonna, I'm, hold on a minute. I'm going to show you this, right? You guys think that I'm hanging out in fancy places all the time. This is no, this is not playing out here. Uh, it is, that, that is real, that is real snow, <laughs> and it is really cold, okay? And um, folks are like, well, there are no black people in Omaha. Not true. Uh, there's about 40% of, of ethnic uh, diversity here in Omaha. Absolutely. And uh, Mutual of Omaha is the largest employer in Omaha. Omaha was, was uh, founded in 1860, sorry, 1852, I think it was. Um, uh, through uh, Native American Indians. Um, that's why it's, uh, well, the name Omaha comes from Native American Indians. Uh, and um, it is uh, a diverse place today, built in many ways by immigrants, home to four Fortune 500 companies. One of them is Mutual of Omaha. This is the highest ranking African American at Mutual of Omaha in charge of community reinvestment, uh, community engagement. She's also in charge, uh, she's made herself in charge of diversity, <laughs> uh, made sure that she's hiring folks who look like her. Uh, to, to, to make the company better, right? And we just opened a Hope Inside here in, uh, uh, in their headquarters. Now, this is not, not just at the bank branch. The CEO, Jeff Schmidt, who's on my board, great guy. Mm -hmm. We just opened up a headquarters, uh, Hope Inside, in their headquarters for their employees, for their, their clients. It is a huge statement of commitment. So, Steph, tell, they, they, I'm sure the people watching, you first of all, introduce yourself properly, but they're watching this going, yeah, but she's got a silver spoon in her mouth. Yeah, but she was born with a trust fund. Yeah, she had fancy parents. Tell them your story of how you became successful from nothing. All right, so thank you so much, John. Hello again, my name is Stephanie Kauser. I am Senior Vice President and Director for CRA and Community Affairs here at Mutual of Omaha Bank. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I, um, I was actually born in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I was a military brat. Um, my mother was a teacher, yep. um, you know, grew up, you know, middle class. Um, you know, we we we, we, we be, be true. Right? lower middle class, working lower, middle class, lower lower middle class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, black we, middle class, black middle class. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah, we, we. My parents worked hard, uh, but you know, I was fortunate enough to um, graduate from college, and uh, with the support of my parents, I. Uh, it was tough though. I. Um, I. Well, I don't want to go that personal but uh <laughs> it's okay no. it's about as personal as it gets you're only talking to like a million people i'm just kidding <laughs> oh wow so no so uh you know graduated um with a degree in information systems and marketing went mm -hmm. to work for alcon laboratories as a computer programmer mm -hmm. after six months of uh sitting in front of a computer eight hours a day i realized that this was not for me mm -hmm. i quit my job just walked off and Wow. Went and signed on uh, with the temp agency, and well, the but, next. But hold on, you quit your job and walked off because you weren't passionate about it, right? It wasn't Absolutely, to you. it wasn't speaking to me. So those of you who are watching this video, who are in some dead end job, who's unhappy, and you think that you know your life is over, that you have no options, that's not true. That is not true. You have optionality. You have choice. I see people signing on. Powerful. It says powerful. Terry, Lynn, passion. So when you're, if you, if you're not doing, what, if you're not doing what you're passionate about then you're going to be tired. Absolutely. If you're going to be tired, you're going to go, want to go to go to sleep at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at your job on your desk. It's not going to work. And you'll probably get fired because you're not any good at what you're doing because you don't love it. She didn't love what she did. She decided that was not going to be the, the legacy of her life. She just upped and bounced. Right? I, I upped she, and bounced. She left. Uh, my parents uh, thought I was crazy. 
um, I went and signed on with a temp agency, and the next day uh, I was working for uh, American Federal Bank, and I have been in the banking industry ever since. Um, and a really cool thing about what I do, uh, and I could honestly say that I do love my job. I love waking up in the morning, uh, feeling good about what I do. I have always been in the space of community development, affordable housing, mm -hmm. uh, community reinvestments, mm -hmm. and for me, it's a ministry because it's all wow. about making. Did she a just difference. say her job is a ministry, but ain't that cool? Give her some love now. You see, you see the heart. Yeah, she said her job was a it ministry. It is because right? I'm able right. to make a difference in the lives of others um, and get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I guess I have the best of both worlds, but so how much how much money? How, first of all, how big is the bank, and then how much money? What, what are you able to move? What are some examples of things you're able to move to help underserved neighborhoods? Absolutely. So uh, we are a, um, a seven billion dollar bank, um, and you should, what? You said billion, folks. Yeah. Not no hundred years. <laughs> Billion would it be? That's not and that's not pesos. That's U.S. currency. Yeah, exactly. So what my team and I do, we are responsible for making sure that the bank is reinvesting their dollars in communities in which they're taking in deposits. Yeah. Uh, with a specific focus on the low and moderate income communities. Right. So we're making sure that the bank is doing um, community development lending that is providing some type of community purpose such as affordable housing, economic development, going in and revitalizing communities. Um, and you also make sure you hire people who look like you, right? And I also, yeah, and I am proud to say that my entire team is yeah, diverse. Yeah, proud of us both, thank you. Yeah. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I do. I, uh, I, I it, it was a mission of mine to make sure that um, I'm coming, sir. I gave the opportunity. I'm coming. You know, I, I was really blessed with an opportunity, so I wanted to make sure that uh, I was able to bless others with that same opportunity. See, you can't be authentic. See, everybody's talking about, oh, you get to corporate America, you become a sellout. You know, no, you, no, 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 you know, you, uh, you, unless it's a black bank, you can't serve our community. Not true, right? In fact, I, while I, I'm 100% supportive of black institutions, and I have deposits at Citizens Trust Bank and a number of other institutions that are black-owned institutions, I have personal deposits and corporate deposits. You have to ask the question, what is that institution doing to invest in your neighborhood? Not just Absolutely. emotionally, are they a black bank or a Latino bank? No, no, if they're taking in all your deposits, but they aren't investing any money, they aren't lending to make mortgages, aren't lending to create small businesses, then it doesn't matter. You're winning battles and losing wars. You are making an emotional decision, not a logical one. The question is, is this sister at Mutual of Omaha Bank, a mainstream institution, does she have as much impact being a sister at the mainstream institution? as just a black institution is having on your community. It may be the same, she may be doing more, frankly she may be doing less. But you don't want one or the other, you want both. Absolutely. It's not an either or situation, it's an and situation. You want to build minority institutions up, yes, but you also want people in the civil rights suites of America. This is civil rights, in the suites, not the streets. This is about issues of class and poverty, not race and the color line. It's not about white, black, red, brown, or yellow, the color of race, but it's about green, the color of money. It's about a hand up, not a hand out. It's about, it's about eradicating poverty from the neck up. She's eradicating poverty from the neck up. She's not getting angry, she's not getting mad, she's getting even, okay? And, and helping everybody along the way. Real quick, because I gotta go to the airport and she's gotta bounce. Real tell, and this is not planned, so she, this is all natural. So tell, her, uh, so tell them real quickly about our partnership with Operation Hope. Absolutely. So, uh, guys, the best partnership ever. Uh, Mutual of Omaha Bank uh, partnered with Operation Hope, I guess, about two years ago, yeah, right? initially, yeah. Uh, initially. And um, our partnership is really very diverse. I mean, we are doing several things with Operation Hope. One of the things that we are doing um, is really investing in... Project 5117, which I'm sure a lot of you all know about, uh, which is allowing our team members to go out into the community, go out into schools, and really provide financial education to to our youth, and in Edward, some cases Edward City, to our. Seeing, uh, uh, moving beyond color in school. Ab so, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. We uh, also have two Hope Inside um, locations in our Henderson. Uh, bank um, in Nevada, in, Nevada uh -huh. in Las Vegas, yes. and then we just opened one here in Omaha where we had our grand opening on yesterday Yay. and having incredible counselors in both of those locations that are really reaching out to communities and helping um, individuals with their credit scores, they're helping small businesses, um, 
either you know develop their business better or uh, those that are interested in um, having a small business kind of teaching them the ins and outs of becoming uh, entrepreneurs and small business we, we might even find a few employees from Mutual of Omaha who, uh, who come through uh, the institution uh, as we counsel them and we're going to find Absolutely. the next Warren Buffett Warren Buffett lives here we're going to find the next Warren Buffett in these communities we're going to find the next Steve Jobs in these communities yes. we're coming to a neighborhood near you uh, I want to be 10% of every bank branch that we partner with, Bank Branch Network, with 10% of... He's some, on his way. I want to be 10% of Mutual of Omaha Bank's bank branches. We're 10% of SunTrust Bank's mm -hmm. by commitment bank branches. We're 10% of First Tennessee Bank's bank branches. Awesome. We're now, let's say, here below 10% of the One West Bank's bank, bank branches. Uh, we're going into black banks as well, City National Bank uh, in um, New Jersey. We're going to partner with them. We're in Whole Foods. Hello, because our people are working in Whole Foods, live, working from paycheck to paycheck. We're in, we're in Hyatt Hotels. Hello, because our people are working in Hyatt Hotels, struggling from paycheck to paycheck. And whether, you, whether you're watching this today, whether you're white, black, red, brown, or yellow, you want to see some more green. You're probably living from paycheck to paycheck. We're all in this mess together. And we're going to get out of it together. Absolutely. This is civil rights, unbossed, unbossed, unbiased, and almost late to my airplane. <laughs> I'm going to catch my plane. My driver is like, uh, brother, we got to go. We don't have to go. We got to heck out of here. Okay? Uh, and you know this is natural. This I surprised her. We just went online. But see, she just wakes up like this. Beautiful, smart, uh, intelligent, employed. <laughs> employed. <laughs> uh, and brothers, out see that? And all you brothers who want to marry her, I think marry. Yes. With kids? Uh, yes, actually I do. I have uh, four kids. I have, uh, oh, and she five. Knows she's 16, right? And, and four Ten grandchildren births, like, and hearts, one hearts, on hearts, the way. Hearts. How many what? How many? Four. Four grandchildren? Yes, and one on the way. Black don't crack. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>